Hey guys, welcome to a uh, little introduction of a game that was released um, in the mid-90s called Advanced Hero Quest. And it's, as it says on the box, a heroic roleplay in a world of magic and mayhem. It's uh, the next door neighbor's dog who doesn't like roleplaying games. Um, before I take you through the miniatures and how I'm going to paint them, I've got a um, series of familiars and the miniature I'm going to use for the maiden so I have the base coat this is my base coating process to get everything a base coat of black there's uh, our bird, Sven Hassel What I usually do is just give everything a base coat of black like that. And I've learned to um, spray the can upside down. It keeps the nozzle from clogging. So there are some familiars, Reaper familiars that I'm going to introduce into the game. And as I said, the miniature I'm going to use for the Maiden, the smoking hot. These are the miniatures from the game, which I base coated in black yesterday and then rebase coated in white today because I like the depth it sort of gives it gives a little bit of definition to all the miniatures some of them came painted in the box so they still have a little bit of color showing through but I'm sure I will uh, paint that over in due time here are the heroes you know for uh, classic elf So yeah, this is a complete set. I was very, very lucky. Found this on eBay pretty much as new. Uh, the geezer took most of it off uh, off the sprues. A few bits and bobs that were left on, but um, what was taken off has just been protected in the, the nicest way. Um, all here, I've checked and double and triple checked. The... Uh, Classic floor tiles used with the game, one-sided as they did back in those days. Yeah, so that's an introduction to what I'm going to be doing with these models. I'm going to block paint them and I'm going to army, army uh, paint or dip them. And then maybe a little bit of highlight just on the heroes. But that's uh, the start of my set project. Cheers. Right, so... Well, I'm aware that um, they're fundamentally all the same miniature, the Skavens, and the same for the humans, the henchmen. I also think what I'm going to do to try and add a little bit of variety is that I've broken them up into uh, rows of weapons, and I'm going to paint them the same color, um, sort of down the uh, down the files. So, the, for example, the blue. Skaven, we're all going to have a different color weapon, the white Skaven, the red Skaven, or green Skaven, or whatever color I sort of come up with, and the same done with the humans, so they're in groups of, uh, sort of in groups of three. Here are the seven little familiars that I've put together, our little maiden for one of the quests, and of course the four uh, heroes. Now, that's just an update, I guess, on, uh, on where I'm at and how I plan on approaching the painting. Right, so um, since the last video it's been about half an hour and I've been uh, organizing how to get 20 miniatures that are fundamentally the same figure um, to basically look unique. So I started off by applying the shields um, so that they were all different and there were no two weapons with the same shield. I know what I've done. I've gone through on the brown and um, used two different shades of brown for now. Kind of gives them a slightly varied look, and I'm hoping that once they're all painted up and dipped, it'll uh, it'll really mix mix them up so they have some some degree of individuality about them. Well, this rose is obviously all going to have the same. Um, 
clothing and this fellow is going to have the same clothing what's uh, going to be distinguishing them is also things like the tails uh, the shields but generally yeah i'm doing them batches of 10 and this is uh, this is batch one i like uh, i like how it's going so far for half an hour's work i think it's uh, carrying on well. This was another miniature I wanted to highlight, which is not coming into focus very well. Anyway, she's a Reaper miniature. She's going to be playing the part of the Maiden. Um, I'm going to hold off on painting her just yet until I get my, my hand, my steady hand back. I've been out of painting for a few months. But yeah, advanced hero quest is uh, the project of the moment. Right, so another two hours into my uh, project. This is what I've completed thus far. We've used a very simple, flashy, colorful palette. Um, sort of just a very mix up mixed of colors so that um, you know they all supposed to look like they're from the same dungeon and and that but um, it's just some very very basic highlighting uh, probably the shield designs and, uh, and some of the faces or where I've I guess I put in a little bit more work than elsewhere still if I try to find a place where I won't be shadowing them, you can sort of catch a glimpse of uh, what I'm talking about. Very, very simply, does it simply painted? They're all going to be done as a, as a large batch. I mean, try to do the best work that I could on the eyes. Um, they're also going to be done as a very large batch, and then um, following the henchmen and the rest of the skaven I'm just going to do one big sweep of uh, um, dipping for the whole lot so that's half the skaven done took me about four hours five hours um, to do and yeah just very simply block painted kept so I tried to keep them together in, uh, in, in weapons and colors uh, five colors for the tunics and basically just different shield designs as I said and look we'll see how it all works out when once they're all painted up and once the uh, henchmen and the heroes and the familiars are done and our little uh, naked goddess see how they look like on a board um, that's today's painting cheers